How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be working on the knife sheath. Uh, I'm going to be putting some uh, basket weave on it. And I've really never uh, done a basket weave before, but this is basically like the first time and I'm going to be doing it on my sheath. Uh, I have just a little bit of practice here. I'll show you what I practiced on a little bit. And then uh, we're just going to go for it. We're going to give it a try and see if we can do it. So I'll show you what I uh, messed around with here for a little bit. All right, this is, uh, I was just playing around here uh, when I first got it. Just trying it out to see how it works. Because I'm not really, uh, I haven't done a lot of this. And then I did a little bit on this piece here. Uh, so I'm just going to take my time and we're going to work on uh, this is the outside of our sheath. Uh, this is the part we're going to put the stamp on. So we're going to work on this today in this video. And then uh, you guys will be able to see me put this whole sheath together. But I'm going to do this in a couple parts because this is new to me. So let's uh, show you what the, this is the set that I got. This, this I got a full set and I'm not sure what all of them used for, but I knew that's uh, the basket, uh, the part that makes the basket. And this kind of does an outside border around it. Uh, so, hey, we're going to give it a try and we're going to see what happens. That's all. Uh, so we had three pieces. We'll probably only use two of these in this in this video. All right. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the groove where the leather stitches are gonna go. And, and now, like I said, uh, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyhow. Hey. I'm going to wet this a little bit. I don't know if that helps it cut better or not. So this will be where our stitches go. Now I'm definitely not a professional at this, so I'm just doing it. This, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done basket weave. Okay, I'm stopping a little bit before the top, so I'll go over this one more time real quick. Okay, so that's where our, our stitches are going to go in this. And I know that this is not a perfect piece of leather, but it's going to work. I don't have a lot of leather to choose from, but I think this is going to work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark on the inside of all of this where I want... 
um, the basket weave to basically start and stop. Okay, this is the same tool I cut the groove with, but it has a little marking tool. <clears throat> and I got this in like a set, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down through here and just mark this where I want that uh, basket weave to stop. Like I said, I don't know if I'm doing this right, so don't use me as a reference for anything. I'm not that good at it. So now we'll kind of have a border of what we want to stay in when we do the basket weave. And I didn't want to do um, a straight basket weave. I want mine in an angle. So we're going to do this one in an angle. Okay, so what I wanted to do was do mine in an angle. Kind of with the blade. The way the blade goes and uh, I was just gonna pick a place here somewhere where I thought the middle might be and then I was just gonna take a pencil and make a mark right through here just like so Oh, and like I said, I haven't um, practiced too much with the uh, the little basket weave tool. But you know, when you do get your your kit, uh, it shows you how to stamp it. Uh, so that's basically what we're going by this this little piece of paper they give you inside of it. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it shows you how to do a, a stamp in an arrow, arrows, basket weave arrow like, which is pretty cool. But uh, we're going to be doing the just a plain basket weave, but in just a slight bit of an angle. So, uh, I don't have a big heavy piece of uh, granite or anything to stick down on my table the only thing I have is an anvil this little anvil I've been using for just about everything I uh, like to put it on top of something I wish I had a nice piece of uh, something to put on this table my table ain't the greatest anyhow because it's the it's one of them just lifetime tables it's not like a workbench or anything but I use it as a workbench so um, basically, I'm just going to start, I'm going to start about in the middle of this guy, hoping you guys can see this, because uh, I'm having a hard time seeing it myself, so get some more light on the subject here. Oh. Now I'm not sure, again, on even how much moisture I'm supposed to have on this thing. It seems to me like the more moisture I got on, the easier it stencils. So I'll have to be careful when I'm doing this because this anvil is not the full size of that sheath. So um, what we're going to do now is what I was going to do is I was going to start with my first one about in the center of that and right on them two lines right there I was putting this corner and this corner on them two lines about in the center as straight as I can and then I'll just give her a good old whack and I think that's pretty good I'm not sure whether I need it deeper or not you guys are basically watching me uh, I'm just learning here. 
So, and now the second one would go, I have to launch it from here on this side, and then that back corner will catch that line there on that back corner. I'm hoping I don't screw this up. But if we do, hey, we do have enough leather to do another one if we have to. Just got to keep that lined up with that line. So our basket weave is straight. Now I can go over there and probably make them a little deeper if I have to. Go to this side. It's going to take me a week to do this. Okay, that don't look too bad. We're not going to argue with that. So now we're coming close to this edge right here. So I'm just gonna get that set on there. I'm gonna hit it on an angle just a little bit. Gotta watch because my camera's in the way there. Okay, I think that might be okay. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it because I can always come back and darken these up if I want. Okay, I think I've done okay on the basket weave besides right here. I got that one off a little bit and it's got two little grooves, but we're not going to sit and whine about it. I think I did pretty good for my first basket weave. I'm not going to complain one bit. I think it looks pretty nice. So we're going to get on with um, putting the trim around the outside edge of this. Uh, and that's we're going to use this tool here. It is a uh, D436. This little guy right here. And that's going to go all the way around the outside edge. 
to give us a nice little border around it. Now that's something new to me too, so everything here is basically new uh, for me. I don't know much about it, but we're doing it. I think this will be a nice sheath and even though I screwed that up a little bit there I'm not gonna like I said I'm not gonna worry about it because I think it, it'll it'll blend right in so now I'm just gonna work out on how I'm gonna do this outside edge around here and then uh, we'll get you guys back in there okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start down in here and that line that I put on there that one I scribed in there. I'm going to put that right about in the middle of our our little stencil. Because I went over it a little bit there. I think if I take my time and go around that edge, I think I can get a pretty good look to it. I'm just kind of leaving a tiny little bit of a space between each one of them, I'm trying to line it up with that where I dug out for the where we're going to sew it. And we're going to leave it at that. So that is going to be my first basket weave. I don't think it looks too bad. Okay, so you guys uh, can see that's my first basket weave basically ever. Besides what I did on that little piece and that little piece right there. That's all I've ever done of basket weave. So that's my very first one. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and clean the top of this up because uh, you probably, a lot of you guys are going to see my other video where I'm actually building the sheath. And I'm just getting this top all cleaned up so um, we can just go ahead and put it on the knife when you get over to that where I'm building the sheath. You can just watch it and, and this part's already done for us so i'm just going to clean that edge up there and then this thing here is pretty cool and this has several different wheels uh, this is different stitches uh, for different things you know so i've been using this one on my sheath so i just basically just leave it in there and we're going to go ahead and put our stitch marks in where we're going to start our stitches and uh, we're going to work these down in here. Okay, that's the front of my sheath. Um, I'm not going to not put this on there just because I made a mistake right there. I don't care about that mistake. I think it's still going to make a nice uh, sheath uh, for the front of my knife. It's the first one, so we're keeping it. All right, that was my first basket weave. I don't think I did that bad on it. I think I did pretty good. Um, it turned out pretty decent. I mean, I do got that little flaw in there, but, you know, I ain't going to worry about that little flaw there. If you can spot that on my uh, 
sheath and that's okay by me I don't mind it uh, I'm not gonna ruin that whole piece of leather just because of that one little spot although it does bug me but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna keep it on there so uh, that just goes to show you it doesn't take much to do this uh, uh, me I did like I said there's a couple little practice pieces on this and then did my knife sheath I think if I was paying more attention I wouldn't have got the flaw in there either but I do think it's pretty I think it's pretty good what do you guys think uh, leave it in the comments there and if I did anything wrong don't be afraid to leave it in the comments because I don't know I'm just I'm new to this too so um, if you leave it in the comments that helps me out and I do uh, appreciate any help that I can get so I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me a thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like till next time